I'm going to be showing you how to do all the side missions in Kef Burr's crash site within LEGO Star Wars Skywalker Saga's Galaxy Free Play. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so there are five side missions here in Kef Burr, and the first one we're going to do is called Untitled or Bat Game. What a title of a side mission, but this one's going to be located in the village area, and we're going to talk to this or bat keeper to initiate the side mission. And this one's pretty easy, so to start off, there's going to be three or backs that we're going to find around this village. All you have to do is ride them back into the stable. First one's going to be right there. The second one's going to be right over here. The third one's a little bit more tricky because it's going to be located way back here. And at first he's going to run away from you. He's going to jump on top of this hut. But eventually you can jump on top of it and return it to the stable. Now there's going to be one more that's located kind of near the landing zone. So we're going to move all the way back to the landing zone and find this ore back, which is actually called ore bad, <laughs> which is kind of funny. So we're going to jump on top of him and ride him all the way back to the stable and once you do that you can talk to the Orbat Keeper and that will complete the side mission for Untitled Orbat Game and that's also going to unlock a trial which is pretty useful. So next up we're going to do Dianoga Destroyer and so this one's going to be located in the Death Star Ruins area of Kef Burr so it's kind of a separate area that you need to take uh, the ship to and so once we get here into the Death Star 2 we'll be able to continue the side mission so we're just going to ride this little uh, vehicle all the way over across the water. Once we get into the Death Star 2, we're going to talk to this character right here to activate the side mission. And here we actually have a Dianoga boss fight within a side mission, which is pretty cool. This is the creature that appeared in Episode 4, and it's kind of returned here on the Death Star 2. So not only did the Death Star 1 have them, but the Death Star 2 has them too. Um, so this thing's got quite a bit of health, at least so it seems. So you're going to have to kind of switch between characters here because you can see there, once you damage him enough, He's going to reveal that he has a silver Lego object helmet on. So you're going to have to switch to a villain character and throw a grenade on top of that helmet to kind of damage him. And then later on in the fight, as you'll see here, he's going to switch to having a gold helmet on. And that means you need to switch to a bounty hunter character to shoot off that helmet. So I do like this boss fight, how you have to kind of switch between the different characters' abilities. And you can see here, he's got quite a bit of health. He's got two shields below, so that means typically means he's got two more health bars. But you can see here, keep watching the health bar and keep damaging him, shooting him. And uh, you'll see his last bit of health just kind of disappears instantly, um, which is uh, pretty weird. It's like I didn't have to take all his health bars out. But anyway, once you take him out, talk to the character again, and that will complete the side mission for Dianoga Destroyer. Very cool side mission there. So speaking of cool side missions, we're going to do Kef Burr's Battle Gears next. So we're going to have to start off this side mission all the way back at the crash site. So if you're following along in the order that the game puts them in, you will be kind of moving back and forth here between the Death Star 2 and the crash site, so that's kind of uh, annoying. So I almost don't recommend doing that, but uh, that's the order that we're going with for this guide. So next up, we're gonna activate this side mission by talking to this same character again. And he's gonna have us gather scrap from the Death Star 2 wreckage. So we're gonna have to go straight back to the Death Star 2, which is uh, always fun, so you have to wait through that loading screen again. And so there's gonna be these different pieces of metal. They're like gray Lego pieces on the ground. Um, that are going to contain these different pieces that we need. So there's a total of five different pieces that we need to gather. And so the first one's going to be located in that first hallway. The next one's going to be located in the bottom uh, middle section of the tower. And so that's going to be two of the five total pieces that we need. We're now going to kind of climb up into the second floor. And we're going to look around here, climb up this rope. And there's going to be another piece that we need to get coming up here. And they're kind of hard to find because they don't really stick out at all. Like they just look like regular... Lego objects that you just see floating around in the world, you know what I mean? Um, so they are a little bit tricky. And so there is the next piece that's kind of located in the water there. And that's going to be three of the five pieces that we need. This next piece is going to be located uh, right over here. Just destroy these gray Lego objects. That's going to be four of five. And then we're going to hunt down the last piece all the way down this hallway and destroy some more Lego objects. And there we go, that's all five pieces. Cool. So unfortunately, the game doesn't automatically teleport you back but you will have to go kind of manually go back to the crash site area and talk to the character, and that's going to allow you to build your very own little battle bot here. And this is kind of where the name of the side mission comes from, Kef Burr's Battle Gears. And so we're going to have to do a little bit of a uh, battle here with these uh, characters. So we're going to go over here and switch to a protocol droid character to kind of take control of your little mouse droid. That's essentially what these are, are mouse droids. And you're going to have a boss fight with the Catastrophinator. What a name. And so they actually put quite a bit of work into this fight. Like, there's going to be some backup that comes. There's going to be a whole bunch of mouse droids you need to destroy. You know, there's like a long-range aiming attack, and then there's like a regular 
uh, close range attack, which you hit with the X button on Xbox or square button on PlayStation. But once you take down all of the health of the red mouse droid, you can then talk to the mission giver, and that will complete the side mission for Kef Burr's Battle Gears. Okay, so side mission number four is going to be called Wildlife Wish List. And this one's going to be located in the crash site area to the north where the village location is. And we're just going to talk to this NPC character right here to activate the side mission for Wildlife Wish List. And this is one of those annoying side missions where we're going to have to go to three different planets to gather wildlife creatures. So the first one we're going to do is Hoth. And once you land on Hoth, you're going to want to go to the back right side of the hangar and talk to this Wampa in the corner, and that's all you have to do is talk to him, and you're pretty much done with Hoth. So next up, we're going to move to Dagobah, to the Dragon Snake Bog area, and right away, there's going to be this protocol droid that points you in the right direction, and there's going to be a little bit of a uh, boss fight that you have to do with this wildlife. It's like some sort of Womp Rat or something. Someone let me know in the comments what the name of this creature is, but uh, we're just going to destroy this creature. We have to keep shooting him down. Once you shoot him down, you'll be able to capture him, and that's going to be it for the Dagobah area. So, now that we've gathered that creature, we can now go over to Octo or Octo. And we're going to have to capture one of these creatures that creates the blue milk. And so, we're going to have to find him on Octo here. So, we're going to move all the way across to the other side of the island. He's going to be located kind of on the edge. There he is. All you have to do is go up to him and hit collect. You don't even have to talk to him or anything like that. And that'll return him into the sky. And then from there, it'll teleport you back to the crash site, and that will complete the side mission for Wildlife Wishlist. So it's just a matter of going to three different planets and gathering some creatures. So last but not least, we're going to do Gonkwards and Upwards, and this one's going to be back in the Death Star 2 Ruins area. So we will have to take the boat or whatever it is, some sort of craft back to the Death Star 2 Ruins. And we're going to have to go up to one of the top floors to talk to this gonk droid right here. And this is going to be another one of these Gonk Droid Escort missions. If you've been following along with my guides or just playing this game uh, in the open world levels, you'll know that these uh, Gonk Droid Escort missions are quite common. And this is actually the last one of the game if you uh, play the game in the order that I'm playing it. So it's going to be the final time that we have to guide one of these Gonk Droids around. And so he will have to go up these little ramps, so you will have to switch to a grapple hook character to kind of pull down the different uh, uh, ledges so that he can jump up. And eventually he's going to reach this gap and you'll have to, have to switch to a force using character like a Jedi or Sith to use the force and pick him up and launch him over the cliff. I thought that was pretty cool that they had you do that. It's definitely uh, more involved than a lot of the other Gonk Droid Escort missions. So definitely give uh, TT Games credit for that. They didn't just make it an easy follow the droid around, take out some enemies, follow the droid around, take out some enemies. They actually had you do a little bit of puzzle work here. You know, you're pulling down ledges for him, allowing him to get up to these different areas. And eventually he's going to reach this door. And that's going to open up the door and complete the side mission for Gonkwards and Upwards. And guys, that's all five side missions for Kef Burr's Crash Site within LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Dislike it if not. Subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time here on Quick Break Games.